Hi, I'm Shane Jonas, and this is the introduction to OpenRPC. So what is OpenRPC? It's a simple JSON description of JSON RPC APIs. And in about 10 minutes from now, you'll be able to grasp the fundamentals of JSON RPC, interact with a live JSON RPC server, explain the problem of describing JSON RPC, and harness the power of the OpenRPC inspector. So uh, what is JSON RPC? Well, it's a lightweight remote procedure protocol, uh, and you can use it over many uh, transports like sockets, HTTP, other messaging environments, uh, and it's just really simple. You can check out uh, the whole spec here uh, at jsonrpc.org slash specification. Uh, I'm going to go a bit over about uh, some of the fundamentals here, like what a request looks like. So it just has like an ID, which is a unique ID, uh, JSON RPC, which gives the version 2.0, and then the method that you're calling, so in this case, list pets. And then the params in this case is like uh, how many to give back is one. And the response we get is, uh, you know, name, fluffy, breed, poodle, uh, in an array, like array of uh, pets here. And the other thing in the spec is notifications, which is just a one way uh, message and that is indicated by not having an ID and in this case we have you know the method pet created and the params uh, is one the other thing you can do is batch these requests up uh, in an array across the wire which just gives you like a lot of flexibility uh, in making requests and uh, the last thing I want to talk about here is the reserved methods, which means the method names, uh, they can't begin with RPC dot. Those are reserved for system extensions. And the system extensions, uh, those are all optional. And one of those system extensions we'll talk about today, uh, which is RPC dot discover, uh, that gives you nice discovery and things for open RPC. So let's check out a demo. What we're going to demo is the inspector, uh, and it's pointing right now at the mock server uh, to PetStore 1.0.0. And here's just like a short link to that that you can follow. And I'm just going to do that here. So, okay, we're in the inspector here. And let's just take a look at like what we have. So on the left-hand side here, we have uh, a transport dropdown, which gives us like different transport options to interact with this thing. We have the play button. And next we have uh, connected. And this next one here is the OpenRPC document detected icon, which just means that the uh, URL provided here uh, responds to rpc.discover and that's going to give us a bit more features than the inspector, like auto completion and uh, validation and stuff. And then obviously this is the uh, JSON RPC server URL that we're going to try and hit. And this, uh, like I, I pointed out before, this is what a JSON RPC request looks like. So we can see, you know, ID zero, JSON RPC 2.0, and uh, method. Well, we don't really know what the method is, uh, but that's where OpenRPC comes in, right? So now that we have it's detected the document, you can actually see right now it's giving us this yellow squiggly line. That's going to give us uh, validation uh, as to what you know methods this thing takes. So it's saying like the valid values are list pets, create pet, and get pet. So Let's just do our example from before, list pets. And you can see it's auto-completing for me already, which is really nice. And then the other thing it's giving me is like this little eye thing here. If I click that, it gives me a bit more information uh, about it, like a longer form information. Uh, and 
I get that for uh, all of them actually, which is really nice. So let's auto complete list pets and hit the API with the play button. And there we go, we made our first JSON RPC request. And looks like we got a result here that gives us like our fluffy poodle. So the next request uh, we're gonna make is get pet. And this thing says, okay, array has too few items, expected one or more. So we actually have some nice uh, validation on the params. And the one big thing is like, you don't actually know what this thing takes. Like what does get pet take? but the RPC discover document gives us the uh, validation to say like, oh, hey, this doesn't actually take a Boolean. It takes uh, an integer. So say we did like seven, for example, that was our example before, and we should get like fluffy poodle back uh, again, right? Where it's now it's just the, the singular get pet and we get the singular result. And then let's just check out like our last method here, um, create pet. And instead of uh, writing this by hand, what we can do is we can auto complete uh, this. And what it's going to do is it has like examples built in. Uh, so we do like a create pet example. And we already have Fluffy Poodle. So let's do like, uh, like Lulu the Frenchie. And so we hit like create pet and now we, we got a new pet ID back and you know, we're set. We successfully used all the methods for this API. So this is really nice. And the nice thing about the inspector is we can inspect the inspector and check out the actual Chrome dev tools and we can just check out what this thing's kind of doing behind the scenes. And yeah, let's hit, let's hit this once more. So it picks it up. And we go in here to our example, we can check out like, you know, what the request payload looks like and everything and the response. But the nice thing about this is we can go into copy uh, and copy as curl and we can pop open uh, like on a terminal and paste it in here. There we go, it's just gonna put in like a user agent and we are going to just make a normal JSF RPC request, you know, with the same the stuff we put in. And then boom, we get the nice response back here, same, same as we saw in the browser. And this is just to show off that you can uh, easily just create like a nice little light client by uh, using the existing tools in the browser. So yeah, I'm gonna pop back into the slides and yeah, so that's kind of it for the demo. And if you wanna learn more uh, and figure out what to do on your next steps, uh, I would check out the openrpc.org and the getting started guide, dot, uh, guide there and check out the Gitter chat for OpenRPC. Okay, thanks.